The greens giving way to the reds, the golds, the auburns, the occasional purples. The last few years were pretty disappointing, uh, and we were all really happy to see the fall foliage back in, in full color this year. It's been a show on the foliage front. Cold overnight temps have helped, says Chris Martin, the DEEP's director of forestry. I'm going to rate this season probably in the 8-9 category. Definitely a really good year, um, and we have seen worse for sure. But this is this is really turning out to be a, one of our better years for sure. And when the leaves fall, it has the feel, it has the New England charm, it has the history. Business picks up for places like the Silas W. Robbins House in Old Weathersfield. <laughs> Essentially, colors like this help keep their bottom line in the black. We're busy all year round, um, but October is our prime time. Um, this is when we get probably uh, 40 to 50 percent more bookings in October alone. And we get a lot of people from California, Texas, Europe. So people are really coming to see the fall foliage, to see the scenery. Taking things to another level, this is the scene in Simsbury, courtesy of Mother Nature. From a hiker's vantage point these past few weeks, it's been tough to top making it to the top of Hubli Tower. It's been one of our busiest years, one of the nicest years for foliage in uh, recent memory. Um, and our state parks and forests are the best place to see it. And this high up, the attendance is reaching a peak as well. Yeah, the foliage is, is just shy of peak and uh, it's a great time to come out. Uh, you've got another couple of weeks. And a reminder that peak foliage season hits the shoreline this weekend and next, as far as here at Hubline Tower, they close for the season on October 27th for a full foliage map. We'll put it up on fox61.com and on the Fox 61 News app. On the Avon Simsbury line, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.